Hey there guys, this is Donovan with another silver update. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this video today is because something happened slightly, well, not really special, but kind of unique the other day. Um, I went to go buy a pack of cigarettes at the convenience store, and the grocery uh, store attendant didn't realize that she actually paid me in silver. And what I, I brought it to her attention just, be, just because I thought it was the right thing to do considering she deals with money all day she could very easily make money by simply trading out the coins that she was receiving that were silver for the regular coin that uh, is in current mintage today and her drawer would still stay accurate and she'd actually make a little bit of money on the side so anyway what I wanted to show you was is I she paid me with this 1953 silver quarter which is the back now this is not in any kind of remarkable condition. Um, it would be considered junk silver. Uh, and there's no real special intrinsic value to this coin numismatically other than just that it's silver and it's old. So considering that it's worn, they would call this junk silver. And you can buy junk silver just about anywhere. Uh, coin shops, uh, online, Atmex, you know, all over the place. You can buy it. Kitco, I think even sells some junk silver. I'm not 100% sure about that, but uh, you can buy junk silver just about anywhere. Uh, the thing that's neat about this is that the weight of silver in this coin, given silver's current spot price over $20, is roughly about $3.88 just for this coin. Considering she gave me two of them and I paid her with a 10, she actually bought me my own pack of cigarettes plus a couple bucks. So I brought it to her attention just so she knew. The other thing too is I told her, I was like, look, now if you tried to sell this to a coin dealer, they might give you a dollar for it, if that, right? They may not give you that much. But its melt value is around just under $4 currently and could very well go much higher, as many people are suspecting that it will, as myself is. Um, but at the same time, you know, I told her, I was like, if you save a bunch of these, I might buy them off of her. Uh, not for $3.88 or whatever, depending on the spot price, because I want to make money too. But I told her she could very easily save these, I gave her my phone number, and she could give me a call when she gets more. Even if it's just one or two, you know, I'd drive over just out of courtesy, because I believe that this, that silver itself is going to go much, much higher in value. Now again, this is not any kind of numismatic value, this is simply the bullion value that's in the coin, the 90% silver that it is. Okay, so either way, um, nice coin. Now another thing too that's kind of neat about silver is if you look at this versus the current mintage coin, you can see the color difference. Okay, silver is a much whiter metal, not as not as uh, not as um, this other coin is, and silver also has more of a unique sound than than other metal coins do. Okay, And just to show you that real quick, this is the silver coin. Real high pitch ring. This is the standard coin. You can hear that, right? That difference there is because of the silver's density in the metal. And it also feels different in your fingers than other metals do. It has a different type of texture to it. And it's not just that the coin's a little bit worn or a little bit older, but it just has a little bit of a different texture to it, a little bit of a different feel. So also I'm going to be starting a blog here soon about precious metals in general, going over gold, silver, whole nine yards there. Um, see, as more people wake up to this investment opportunity in silver and gold, and as, as more investors start to really pour their funds into this, taking it out of the marketplace, not only will the price go up, but the public's awareness will go up as the price goes up. Every time there's a headline, every time there's news reports online about silver and gold, you're going to see prices go up, as long as it's you know good news about it. Um, so what, I, what I'm basically saying is I want to try and do my part by starting this blog page uh, to go over the different types of, of precious metals investments. Um, on top of this, I mean there's a lot of information that's out there that a lot of people don't really know about 
like $1,300 for gold was actually already anticipated to happen back at the end of 2009 for 2010. And it's expected to go up, you know, in 2011 as well. Now, the, there's an almanac that comes out annually, and I forget the, the name off the top of my head, but it comes out every year talking about precious metals, gold, silver, where they're going, reasons why, what the major companies and the major players are. I mean, it goes into really, really good detail that really tells people what um, these precious metals are going to do and what they're expecting to do. So I'll find that out, and I'll, I'll, I'll find out. For, I, I have the book. I don't have it with me, and for some reason I can't seem to think of the name off the top of my head. So anyway, uh, I'll put that in my blog, but I just started the blog just a couple days ago, so I don't have really too much on there. Once I have it up and running and, and a good, reliable amount of information on there, then um, and make sure that my sources are 100% correct, then I'll start uh, letting you guys know exactly where it is. So anyway, other than that, it's a... Uh, Silver is a great investment at this point in time, and I really do believe that we're going to see the um, we're going to see a lot higher prices for it. They say on average that you should have 100 ounces of silver per family member, or one ounce of gold per family member, as a as a beginning investment uh, for each family, and that would give you at least a good start for your investment to your family. You don't have to have both, you know, 100 ounces of silver and an ounce of gold per person, but, you know, you can do that if you're so able to. Uh, really, right now, anything that you do will help um, yourselves out and actually hold value for you. Remember, precious metals investing is not necessarily to make money, but to maintain the same amount of value at, at the very least. Now, there's chances in precious metals investing where you can make money. Right now, we're in one of those times where you can actually increase your value of what you have um, available to you. But it's also meant to really just maintain. So the dollar that you earned yesterday is worth as much as it is today, as much as it is tomorrow, based off of inflation. So either way, both are great investments. If you already have gold, I applaud you. Same thing with silver. If you've already had it for years and have already watched the, the percentages go up dramatically over the last few years, then awesome to you guys. Hats off. Um, but don't necessarily stop buying silver now just because it just broke over $20. Okay? Because it could have a lot longer way to go. Oh, by the way, if you like this video or any of my videos, please go ahead and uh, give us a give me a response on that. Um, whether it be comment, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, go right ahead or post a video response. I try to get back to everybody that leaves a comment or does a video response as soon as possible. But anyway, just remember, this has value intrinsically in the fact that it's a precious metal itself. This does not, where the value is so little because of the common precious metal, the common metals that it uses, that it really makes no difference. So this versus this all day. Anyway, take care guys. Bye.